By now you've probably heard about the viral Harris Waltz campaign hat. You know the one, it sold over 47,000 hats, totaling nearly $2 million. It was so popular that they had to add to the embroidered hat a printed one because they couldn't embroider them fast enough. Well, some people on the right are not happy about that hat. They take it very, very seriously. Meghan McCain tweeted, Putting someone in a camo hat doesn't make them a moderate or appealing to red state people. No one is that dumb. And that is a good point. Sorry, that would be a good point if it wasn't so easy to knock down with. And look, John McCain is her father. Now she may not remember that because she doesn't talk about it much. But when he ran for president, they had hats like this, which Honestly, it looks so much like the Harris Walls hat that I kind of wonder if that's what they were ripping off. I know it was a musician, it that's wasn't them. And camo. It, yes, there's a difference between the digital camo and the other camo or whatever. That one's more dated. I used to think digital camo was cool back in the day, but I like the more organic stuff these days. But anyway, um, so she's very angry. Like, no, but don't be won over by this. It doesn't make them cool or folksy. No, but that's that's the thing that bothers you so much. It ain't the hat, it's the head that it's on. Because Tim Walls was that person before they put the new hat on. You think this is his first camo hat rodeo? The dude's been wearing camo hats and camo other stuff. He likes guns. I know that you're not supposed to if you're a Democrat or whatever. But as I have said for many years, you can like guns and think that there should be reasonable regulations to stop gun violence. I like guns, I've shot guns, I used to own a gun when I was much younger. And I think they should be well regulated to stop kids from having their bodies blown apart by weapons of war. And Tim Walls gets that and that's what what bothers you so much. So we're gonna play a super weird moment in a sec from the five. But first, what do you think about the wild success of the hat and the right wing tears over it? Dude, you don't gotta talk to me. My my mom, when she found out I lost my Thrasher skater hat, got me this hat because it has flames on it too. Mm-hmm. And I love Bass Pro Shops, and I got one of these, and I, I think it's amazing. It's like you don't own camo, you don't own the American flag. This land is our land. It's everybody's. They can wear whatever they want. And if people want to wear a camo hat that says Harris Walls on it. They should be able to, and guess what? They have chosen to do so. And this is one of the great moves of people over time. Is like it it happened. I mean, the easiest way is like uh, you know queer studies and the use of the N word. When someone does something to kind of pull one over on you and try to control you, if you reclaim those things that at one point were signs of dominance, then you can completely upset the apple cart that they're using to oppress you. And that's absolutely what's happening here. And it's also so to certain people in that are like looking to wear camo is like their fashion statement. But to other people, they're like, yeah, that's what Democrats used to be. They used to be just like salt of the earth, normal working folk that if they want to go hunt and they go hunting. And then when they go to the factory to go have to go to their jobs, they want some kind of worker protections. And somewhere yeah. in the last 25 to 35 years, the Republicans have done a very systematic job of saying, listen, if you wear camo, we're for you, even though we're gonna make your work life a living hell. 100%, yeah. So I just wanna go to this last graphic, graphic four. Uh, this is Vanity Fair, I think they've got an article why the Harris Walls campaign uh, camo hat is becoming a status symbol for liberals. And I will say just briefly what I was talking about in my production meeting this morning. Um, I don't wanna show just like you know blind obedience to the Democratic Party. So that's why I'm a little bit worried about engaging the strategy that I'm thinking of. But I like the reclaiming, especially not just because there's objectively nothing conservative about camo or the American flag or whatever, but also I I just like that it bothers them so much. I wanna start wearing camo on the show to bother them. I don't know exactly what, the hat's probably sold out. So I'm thinking like mesh tank top or something, something butch. Um, So I'm gonna work on that and we'll see if we can get one of the hats. But anyway, I just like, because we have our own version of love of country, we always have and ours is purer because it's about the country we actually live in. They love a racist fantasy of a country they imagined from the 1950s. So why do they get to get all the the cool symbols or whatever? I say, let's reclaim them. Let's be smart about it. Let's not be blind about it. But let's do it particularly if it makes them pee their dockers. I just love that we're owning the cons with a freaking camo pattern. The owning the conservatives or whatever. 
It's yeah. amazing. The funniest thing it. is many of them are going to have to be like, I want to wear the camo now to reclaim that for conservatives, but that means I can't wear the red. <laughs> it's Kamala trying to copy the red MAGA hat. The Harris campaign making a million bucks off of Harris Wall's camo hats, which Teen Vogue calls the new quote unquote Jeez. status symbol for Democrats. Did you order your uh, your camel, uh, camel hat yet, or did you do something else? I got another hat. I got white dudes for Harris right here, and I'm not going to put it on for one reason. I don't want to mess up my hair, but two, I'm not for Harris, so I'm going to give it to you. A white dude for Harris. You are white, right? <laughs> You're white. Are I'll you give, half? I'll give it to my father-in-law. Okay. You wear you. that. You, no, you wear that, Harold. I give this as a gift. Stop Thank you. And you Thank put you. it on Thank your beautiful you. I really, head. I appreciate that. Red, white, You won't blue. wear it, so you're not a Harris supporter. I am. <laughs> I you're not, you're not going to mess up your hair. Look at it. I, I'm a huge Come on, I'm Harold. Put the hat supporter. on. What the hell is going on there, Brett? Oh, my God. I love it so much. It's so awkward. This is what happens when you give non-comedians the role of, like, person people have to giggle at on a set. But mm -hmm. Gutfeld's a comedian. For all you want to talk trash about Gutfeld, he's actually a comedian. He has made jokes. They have been funny. They have made people laugh. Jesse Waters has never genuinely made anyone laugh because he never had to cut his teeth in a club. Like that guy, yeah. he is the funny one on that channel, but all he was was the little PA on Bill O'Reilly that went out and did really terrible, unfunny man on the street pieces that have translated into an entire career of yeah. really sad, bad jokes. And his street pieces were just to mock students or whatever, but they were not nearly funny enough on their own. And you know that because they had to keep purposefully just putting in like 80 year old film clips so that the old person watching it would be like, ha ha, I remember that because they wouldn't be entertained otherwise. Yeah, that was, that was super awkward. And look, I've been there. I'm not gonna name names or whatever, but I've been on panels where a person who is ostensibly supposed to be funny just says a thing and you have to laugh or whatever. It's happened to me before. And so anyway, um, yeah, that's super awkward. Don't like shove the the hat at a person and be like, you're white, you're white, right? Like what, so what is going on racially? What is going on culturally on that show? Um, might have to get one of those white dudes for uh, Harris hats just to bother uh, Jesse Waters. But the whole thing was super weird. Man, are they mad about that camo hat. It has driven them all insane. But yeah, anyway. they've been owned. Like the, the owned. Fox has gotten owned. Like everything they make fun of the left for, that is the exact reaction they've had ever since Harris got in the race. A camo hat, the concept mm -hmm. of white dudes for Harris, which is said like jokingly, they can't wrap their mind around it. And yeah. they are triggered beyond belief. And now I understand what that tasted like for them when they would, you know, <laughs> own the lips. And I yeah. can't get enough of it. See? Brett made a joke and it was funny and I actually laughed. Jesse Waters, take some GD notes. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?